Hello guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be having a deep dive into the Camel Scout, which is a unique unit for the Gajara Civilization, which has been introduced with the new AoE2 DLC of the Dynasties of India. So, as I've already mentioned, the Camel Scout is a unique unit for the Gajara Civilization, and it is trainable in the stables from the Feudal Age. The Gajaras also start off with a Camel Scout instead of a regular Scout, but they can also train regular Scouts. The Camel Scout is essentially a Feudal Age version of the Camel Rider, which as we all know is a Castle Age unit. Now, now because it is a precursor to the camel rider it does have the same cost as the camel rider so it's actually 55 food and 60 gold so it's a very expensive unit for the feudal age and the training time for the camel scout is actually 38 seconds which is considerably more than the camel rider so i expect it's going to be working in a similar way to how the eagle warriors work where they train a lot slower in the feudal age and then speed up for the castle age version Camel Scout's HP is 70, it has 4 damage and it's got no armor at all. If we compare that to a normal Scout, Scout costs 80 food, it's training 30 seconds, it has 45 HP, 5 damage and it has 2 pierce armor. So whilst the Camel Rider does have more health, it has less damage, less armor, it costs more and it's trained in 8 seconds more. However, as we all know, Camels have a massive bonus against Cavalry, meaning that the Gajaras are likely to absolutely dominate a Cavalry Civ in the Feudal Age. I'm looking at you Franks Pickers. Now despite having quite a large 70 HP for a Feudal Age unit, the lack of pierce armor does actually make them very vulnerable to town center attacks. A full town centre can quite easily one shot a camel scout and having one less attack actually makes it quite a bit harder to kill villagers when raiding when compared to using regular scouts. So it might be a good idea to do a bit of a mixture of camel scouts and scouts. So as a direct comparison to how the camel scouts are going to perform against uh, the top scout civilizations, we're looking at them against the French, the Magyars, the Sicilians and generic scouts. So Sicilians certainly coming out on top here with being able to negate some of that bonus damage that they receive. So let's see how these do on equal resources. Against the French, we have 10 French scouts versus 7 camel scouts. And as you can see, the 7 camel scouts will quite easily destroy the 10 French scouts, with an average of 205 HP remaining. So moving on from there, the Sicilians again are a very strong performer against the camel scouts. Still got the same amount of resources used in the same numbers as we did with the French. But the camel scouts still managed to pull off the win and they had an average of 145 HP remaining for the group of them, which was about 30% of their total HP. So looking at a generic scout, we're using the Mongols in this example, they absolutely wreck them and have 271 HP on average left over, which is about 55%. Now the top performing civilization against the Camel Scouts on equal resources is the Mangyars, and that's very much down to the cheaper cost of the Scouts. So in this example, we used six Camel Scouts. They do still manage to win though, but they only have on average about 55 HP remaining which is about 11% so much more even fight on equal resources than other civs. So how does it do against spearmen? Against spearmen they're pretty strong and that's very much down to their total HP. Because they've got 70 HP it does mean that they're actually able to take five hits which is the same as the Sicilian scouts actually take. So the general rule of thumb for archers is if you've got six archers with fletching you should be able to quite easily kill a group of three scouts and that still rings true against the camel scouts despite having the 70 hp they don't have that pierce armor as we mentioned earlier so they're not really any better than regular scouts french scouts still come out on top against archers in a 1v1 situation against mana arms all of the civilizations generally perform pretty well on a one-to-one -one basis with all of them being able to kill the mana arms but let's have a look at a typical three-on-three -three fight that you will get with mana arms and scouts and the Magyars are one of the best performing civilizations against man arms in a 3v3 fight between scouts and man arms. They have a win rate of about 50%, so it can kind of go either way through the testing that I did. And on average, it was about 17 HP remaining for that group. The Franks perform much better, having a win rate of 100% and averaging about 30 HP remaining. Generic scouts didn't win a single fight during my testing and they ended up with an average HP of minus 30. And when I say minus 30, that means that there was about 30 HP left across the three men at arms. So how do the Camel Scouts do in this situation? Well, the Camel Scouts aren't particularly great. They're a little bit better than generic Scouts, but they still have a 0% win rate and they have about minus 20 HP average remaining. So those men at arms will have about 20 HP left by the time they're finished. So in summary, I think the Camel Scouts are going to be a really strong unit. I think they're going to be very, very tough to deal with. And all your Scout Rush Civs are really, really going to struggle against them. They'll generally perform quite well against defensive Spearmen because it's going to be taking five hits to kill them. You'll be able to escape without 
losing your units a little bit easier and again so archie sieves are going to be pretty standard really as i mentioned before they are going to be quite vulnerable to town center fire and they're not going to be quite as good at raiding as scouts are going to be but certainly against scout civilizations you should be able to get a good strong upper hand so if you're hyped for the new age of empires 2 dlc for the dynasties of india do hit the like button and let me know in the comments what you think to the camel scout and let me know which civilization you're looking forward to the most if you've not already pre-ordered or bought the dynasties of india dlc there is an affiliate link in the description of the video where you can get it a little bit cheaper but that's it for this one guys thanks a lot i'll see you on the next one